Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. This is part one of how to play Let It Be by The Beatles. Now in this video, we're going to look at the intro and the first verse. Now with these, we're also going to learn two different licks as well. In the next couple of videos, we're going to look at the uh, cor chorus and also two rundown licks. Now in the third and final video for this series, we're going to look at putting everything that we'll learn in one and two all together to fully learn the song. So, in this video, like I said, we're going to be looking at the first verse and the intro. So, the intro is going to sound like this. So, the chords for the intro are a C major. Then we have a G major which is an inversion. I'll explain a lot about that later. Then we have an A minor, an F7, and an F6. Now the F7 and F6 are kind of uh, inversions, but speaking of inversions, I'm going to quickly tell you about what they are. So an inversion, if we look at its normal C major chords, we have C, E, G. C, E, G gives us our C major chord. The first inversion of C, of a C major chord, is E, G, C. So if you look at it, we're using C, E, and G. C, E, G. But then we have E, G, C. So it's the same notes, same chord, it just is up a little bit higher. So it's still a C major chord, but it's an inversion. Then we have another inversion possible here, which will give us G, C, E. So still using just those three normal triad one, three, five notes, but we're just mixing up one, three, and five. You don't have to know about that later, but if you do know that, that might help. Let's look at the chords individually. So the first chord is going to be a C major. Now with all of our chords, we're going to be using the respective bass notes, which is just octaves. Okay, so a C major chord is going to have C octaves, which are these notes here. A minor will be A octaves, G, and F. So that's pretty self-explanatory. So the C major, we're going to have C bass notes in our left hand. We're going to have C, E, G. C, E, G gives us our C major chord like I was saying before. All right? C, E, and G. Then we have our G major inversion. So normal G major chord, we're going to have G, B and D. Now all we're doing is moving this G up an octave. Giving us B, D and G. So our G inversion is going to be B, D and G. And with that, G octaves in the bass notes. Pretty simple. So B, E, B, D, G. So C for the G. Then we have an A minor. The A minor is going to have A, C, and E. So it's just a C major chord, except down two notes. So you have C, G, A minor. Then we have an F7. Now this F7 is going to be an A minor chord, but with F bass notes. Then we throw in that F6. So the F7 is just going to be A, C, and E with F bass notes. Now an F6 is going to be the same two notes here, so B, A, and C. A, C, D, which by itself doesn't sound as magnificent as it does with this um, song, but just remember it's A, C, D. So we've got C, E, G, B, D, G, A, C, E, A, C, E again with F octaves, and then A, C, D, also with the F octaves. 
So what we're going to do now is we're going to put that with the playing pattern that, that we are going to do. So starting with the C major, the pattern goes like this. So that's our pattern. What it is, is the lower bass note, which we're going to call just our pinky bass note. So if you look at the C major, the lower C that we play, this is going to be our pinky bass note, this is going to be our thumb bass note. So pinky bass note, thumb bass note. The playing pattern is going to be our pinky bass note with the chord. So we've got pinky bass note with the C major. Then we play thumb bass note, chord, thumb bass note, and then we switch up the chord. So we've got a low, low, low pinky bass note, thumb with the chord, thumb, chord, thumb. Pinky together with the chord, thumb, chord, thumb. Now in the intro and every other verse, we're going to go from this C major to the G inversion with that F or F sharp passing note. Now how that's played is if we look at this as each time we play a bass note or the chord, we look at that as on the beat. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. On the and note, we can hit either the F or the F sharp. So one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. And it sounds like that. So it's just a passing note. So we go C, play the F as our fingers come down, and play the G octaves. And it's not a hold F. It's not. It's just you tap it. You just flick it. Now you do that with either the F or the F sharp. C major, F passing the note to the G inversion. And we're going to use the same playing pattern. So we're going to go pinky and chord together, thumb, chord, thumb. Then we're going to move up to the A minor. So, and we have pinky th and chord together, thumb, chord, thumb. Only difference is that this thumb here, so we go So if you heard that, so we go So we add in this G as another passing note So we go from the A minor, we go pinky together with the chord Thumb, chord then your thumb is going to move down and play the G. Right, so this note here. And that leads us to our F octave bass note. So we go G, F. Now I believe you also play this G up here. So from the A minor. Like that. So your thumb's just going to follow what your left thumb is doing. So you're going to go from the A, both thumbs are going to move down to the G, and then your thumb's going to move back up here to complete the A minor chord that's going to turn into the A, uh, F7. And the way that the F7 and the F6 work is it's going to be F7 together with the, with the pinky bass note thumb bass note, then we're going to move to the F6 on the next chord, thumb bass note, okay? Like that. So all together. Like that. So let's pull very slowly, C major. Passing note, G. A minor. G passing notes to the F7. F6. And then we come back up here to the C major. And we add in this lick, which we'll also learn. 
So jump up to the C major. We do the F passing note to the G inversion chord. Except instead of us moving to the A, we're going to play an F inversion. We're going to play a lick, right, which is going to start with the F inversion. So we go F inversion lick to a C major. And then we begin the verse, and the verse is going to be the same chord progression, except that when we get to this lick, it's actually going to be down here. Right, then you're going to play the intro all over again and that finishes the verse. So, the lick is going to go from the C to the G and then we're going to move our left hand down and we're going to play F bass notes as our octaves. Okay, and the notes that we're going to play up here is C, F and A together which gives us our F inversion. Okay, so it's going to be C, F and A. Now I'm going to play this with my thumb, my middle and my pinky so that my index and ring finger are ready for the next next two notes which are E and G. So we've gone from C, F and A to E and G. Then we go to D and F and then we play a C major chord. So very, 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 very slowly. C, F, A. Then we play only E and G, then only D and F, and then a C major. So F inversion. Like that. Once more. Like that. So we're going to put that all together. So we're going to go from the C major from the very beginning. So we go C, F passing note to the G, A minor, F7, F6. Go back up to the C major. F passing note to the G, play the lick. Now for future videos, I'm going to quickly name that. So it's just this bit. what we're going to be calling the, the chord progression, the main chord progression. Then this bit. I'm going to find the bass notes. That is going to be lick one. So the way that the intro and the verse is structured is um, structured is we're going to play the chord progression, lick one, chord progression, lick two, chord progression, lick one. Now lick two sounds like this. Now, so it's lick one, but down here. So that's lick two or the lower lick, okay? So to play that is we're gonna also use F bass notes like we did for this. Now we have the first inversion of F, which will be A, C, F. A, C, F is our inversion. Now all we're doing is we're going to keep the C and we're just moving our A and our F down two notes. Okay, and we're going to play them each time. So we go A, C, F. Then we move down. Down to that, which is G, C, E. So A, C, F. G, C, E, then we have F, C, D, which gives us kind of like an F6. So we go A, C, E, G, C, E, e. this was an F, sorry, so E, F, C, D. 
we finish on another C major chord. And when we hit that C major chord, I forgot to mention, we come back up here to do the C bass notes. So lick one, F inversion, E and G, D and F, C major chord. Lick two, the first F inversion, which was A, C, F. Then we move the A and the F down until we have G, C, E. Then we move down again so that we have F, C, D. C major chord. So the way the intro and the first chorus um, verse all sound is we're going to do this, the chord progression. Then we do leak one. Now when we get to the C major, we're going to do the, the playing pattern and that's going to just add on to our lick. So we go... That is the entirety of the lick. Then we're going to start the chord progression again. So we're going to go C major again. This time we're not going to add... So we started the verse, but this time in this first verse, we're not going to add this F passing note. So the intro, we do the F passing note. But in the, the verse, the first verse, we're gonna we're not gonna do that, we're gonna go straight to the G. So C to G. So you go C to G to A minor to F7 to F6. Then we do C to G, lick one. Then we start again. We go C to the G to the A minor. Then we go to the G passing note, F7, F6, C, to G, then we play lick 2 which was the lower lick. Then we do the chord progression again, so we start again on the C major. is going to start the chorus for us. So before we finish, I want to quickly show you what we'll be learning in the next lesson. So the chorus sounds like this. That's the chorus, and here are the rundown leaks. heads up they are basically identical so there won't be a lot of learning for the second one but you still have to kind of relearn one section so that is going to be it for this video thank you all so much for watching if there's anything you need if you have any issues with any section of this song please let me know in the comment section below stay tuned for the next couple of videos to come out also if you're a guitarist like me i'm also going to be bringing out the uh solo for this song but that's it for this video thank you all so much for watching taz venom out see you all in the next video Bye.